Hello everyone, your English co-paper CBSE class 12th has just concluded and the students had mixed reactions regarding the paper. Many of the students found the paper easy, whereas a few of them felt the paper was lengthy. But if you were well prepared, then you could have sailed through. I am SDS sir, faculty at the PSPD division of resonance and today I am here with the detailed solution of the English Co paper which is anxiously awaited by the students. Today we will discuss the solutions of the set 2 that is code 142. The general instructions were there and three sections were there in the paper. Moving on to the first passage, the first passage in reading section was based on parenting. A straightforward easy passage it was, but yes, a few questions were a bit tricky. Yes, so we will go with the detailed solution. The first question, complete the following sentence with an appropriate word and we end up screaming and dole out punishment. In this, the author criticizes the reactive approach of the parents and you can find this answer in the first paragraph third line. Moving on to the second one explain about 40 words when and how do parents become reactive and the question the answer to this question was straight away in the first paragraph the first line itself and here is the answer for you. Moving on to the MCQ which is a bit tricky as well. From the given option you have to, to identify the correct option and the answer to this is option number D that is values and emotions. The next question was subjective type and you have to explain about 40 word how NHA focus on reforming parents to reform the children and the few points which you have to highlight in your answer are in front of you. NHA by Howard Glasser focuses on reinforcing parents to reform children because they refuse to energize negativity relentlessly, energize positive, reset and Moving on to the next question, share evidence from the text in about 40 words to support the view that parents appreciate the goodness of ch child at every opportunity and the answer was in the fourth paragraph. It says to cut the negative, the parent looks for every opportunity to energize the positive in the child. The next question in paragraph 5, in what way does the approach differ from the earlier approach? And the answer is the parent has to make sure he or she does this very calmly without any anger or resentment and this approach is about recognizing the child's worth at every step. The next question in this was MCQ based from the options you have to select the correct one and the correct answer and this is option number B you demonstrated patience with teaching your junior. And the last one eighth question in this, the phrase to cut the negative in paragraph 4 nearly means to stop criticizing that is option number B. It was an easy one. And one more MCQ based question, read the five headlines given below and the five headlines were given and this question was a bit tricky. Identify the option that displays the headlines that does not or do not correspond with the occurrence in the text and the correct answer is option number C that is B only and this is what children a rebellious generation this is the correct answer for them. So these were the answers for the first passage. The second passage again was interesting it was regarding or related to the work from home culture. Again it had a few tricky questions I would not say difficult the questions were a bit tricky. The first was MCQ based this, these activities will increase productivity. By productivity the author refers to the answer is option number B that is efficiency of the employee. The second question in this again MCQ based what change in the workplace would bring those people back to office who want amusement and the correct answer is option number C building entertainment lounge. The third question as for the survey why do death conscious people health conscious people prefer to work from home? And answer is because they can work out or take a nap. Next question, complete the following sentence. The passage ends on a note that some people are resolved to 
and the correct answer is work from home or would not go back to work in person. The fifth question, explain in one in inference that can be drawn from para 1 about the reason for people's preference to work from home and you could have taken any of the option not having to commute or the flexible schedule. Interesting question, true or false, the survey reveals that people deeply miss socializing in the work from home style. The correct answer is false. Next, explain in your own words how appearance is one of the factors for people's preferences for work from home and the answer is there in front of you. The next question, as for the survey, what top priorities of people prevent them from going to office? They desire to keep working from home, caring for children and lack of a commute. Able to entertain health and fitness prevent them from going to office. And so these were the questions related to your reading section. Two passages, easy passages and a few tricky questions were there. Next, moving on to the writing section, question number 3 were based on notice writing. Two notices, the notices were straightforward and I don't think so the students would have faced any problem in attempting the notice. The first one was, has opened a gym for the benefit of students. So straight away the notice in a box, the issuing authority, the word notice, the date of mentioning the notice, the title and then the matter, the what is the thing required, gym facility has been started for all the students in the school premises from 20th of February to promote good health and performance of students. The timings will be 6.30 am to 8.30 am plus the other details we have to devise over here, yes, what is there, what provisions are given to the students, everything you have to mention over here and finally the senders, the notice writer's name along with the designation. So this is the way this notice had to be written. The other notice was related to the yoga classes which will be starting soon in the society. So, Ganga society, Pushmanagar, the date, free yoga classes and the things you had to devise was from when the yoga classes will be scheduled, where it will be scheduled and what will be the charges for him. So, all those things and who will be the trainer, who will be the coach, that thing you have to mention in this notice. So, simple straightforward notice solution is there over here. And I don't think so, any of the student must have found the notice writing difficult. The next questions were based on invitations and the replies and again as expectations the notices, the invitations were easy. The first one you have built a new house in the hills of Uttarakhand, you have to invite your brother and his family to spend a few days. So simple format, sender's address, date, salutation, you are inviting your brother and then the details you have to put up over here. That with the blessings of our parents, the construction of new house in Nainital in Uttarakhand is completed. Summer vacations are about to start and you can easily make a plan to come here along with your family. You would all have a great time together after a long time. Hope you will surely think about visiting our home. And then the complimentary clothes, your brother and the person who is putting up is Srikant Sharma. And the invitation has to be written in a box. The option which you had was reply to the invitation and it was re reply related that you had been invited for a function and you have to send a reply showing your regret, showing your inability to attend that function. It was a formal reply, hence sender's address, date, the receiver's detail, subject has to be specified very clearly sir and then whenever you send a reply always be thankful. So thanks for the invitation and the invitation was for 20th February the date has to specify has to be specified over here and then finally show the reason why you will be unable to attend that function and then the complimentary close and the name of the person who is replying. So this is the way the solution had to be put up in this. The next question was based on job application and the vacancy was for a basketball coach in a school. An advertisement had been given and 
on the behalf of this advertisement which was given. You have to draft your reply. So, here is the reply, Neeraj will be replying. So, the address, date, the receiver for this application will be the director of this academy, subject application of post or basketball coach. Yes, give the reference in the first paragraph that is from where you came to know about this vacancy. Second will be something about the qualification, experience and skills of the candidate. And the last one will be about the enclosure that what you are you enclosing along with this job application letter. So, this is the way the covering letter has to be written. Yes, and this is the way the student you had to attempt it. And finally, after this, the students had to draft a resume along with it. And the resume could have contained the following criteria name, father's name, date of birth, marital status qualification and the qualification becomes for basketball coach. Yes, it can be MA, PA from any university and this was specified in the question paper that is received a diploma also from the NIS Delhi. Then some skills were specified in the question paper that you have to specify in your solution. The achievement has been put up is experience, address, language known, salary expected, email ID yes becomes mandatory and finally the two references and one reference was from the workplace and the other reference you could have taken from your study place. So, this is the detailed solution of this letter based on job application. The other letter which you had have option in with in it was the letter to the editor and again the things were easier for the students because the clue provided over here and you had to write a letter to the editor daily news expressing your views on the need for workshops to create awareness of skill development and future opportunities and the points which had to be specified are also given. The clues were given and again the same format sender's address, date of sending, the receiver, subject, sir and this is the matter which you had to write including the clues which were provided in your question paper. So, I do not think so, letter also was difficult for any of the students. Then moving on to the last of your writing section long composition and the first question which you had was based on article writing and again the things were easier simplified because the basic points the clues were provided to the students and you had to just enhance on those points and come up with a simple topic on healthy lifestyle. And I have tried to put up the solution in simple words, yes, you can just go through it and the detailed solution you can also download from our official website. The PDF will be provided over there as well. The next question was based on report writing again followed by some clues. The hints were provided for the student, so there was no difficulty level for any of the students who attempted the writing section. The clues are provided, what you have to write over here and the notice was the report was based on social education program for children of the Santosh, Santoshi slum and what, when, where, what things took place, who attended and everything about that program was to be specified over here. Moving on to the last of the section that is section C, which some of the students found it difficult. I won't say difficult, I am sorry, the, they found it lengthy and the questions were a bit tricky, particularly the MCQs. So, the first extract based question from the poems, the first extract was from the poem a roadside stand and comprising of a mixed bag of MCQs as well as subjective type of questions. So, a roadside stand that two pathet pathetically played, four options are given to you. And the correct option over here is the brutal wind bullied the tree. And what was the clue over here? The clue over here is personification, a roadside stand that too pathetically played. So, human qualities are given to non living things. So, the correct option over here will be option number C. The next one was select the option that aptly conveys the poet's point of view with reference to the above extract. The roadside stand is put up with the purpose to straightforward 
to do the business it was not to display the fruits it was not to stop the traffic for traffic jam it was not to interact with city people it was there they just wanted the people come there stop there purchase things from them so the correct option as per me should be option number c and then what do you infer about the people who put up the roadside stand from the phrase would not be fair to say for a dole of bread dole is means charity so this roadside stand was not set up for begging or for some charity purpose so this is what you have to specify in your answer the roadside stand was not built for charity but for the inflow of city money by offering things to them the next question was fill up the word pathetically reflects the condition of the roadside stand the word pathetic reflects the which type of condition the pathetic or the miserable pitiable conditions of the roadside stand so the correct answer could be pitiable moving on to true or false type by flower of cities the poet refers to the garden in the cities the answer is the statement is false because it is not about the flowers is the garden of the city it is talking about about the affluent people of the cities so the statement is false and now a easy one based on the rhyme scheme evident in lines 1 to 4 which word rhyme with line 2 and the correct answer is f l e d fled sped fled so this is the answer which was to be of written the next question was from the poem aunt jenny extract from aunt jennifer's tiger the first question sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand through the above expression the poet indicates straightforward easy option option number c aunt jennifer's unhappy married life she was a victim of the patriarchal society next select the option that has the same literary device used in still ringed with ordeals and this question seem to be a bit tricky to many of the students it was a bit confusing but if you saw this thing over here metaphorically the sentence has been used so the correct option should be option number c a lovely music a lovely voice was music to his ears so this is the correct option for this question number second of this extract the next complete the following sentence the tigers in the panel symbolize what the tigers in the panel symbolize freedom courage and confidence one more true or false find even the ivory needle hard to pull the above expression suggests that aunt jennifer is dying not at all she is just suffering because of the patriarchal society so this statement is false the next question based on rhyme scheme and the correct answer for this is full it rhymes with pull so the correct answer is and fill in the blank this creates the image of the use of words fluttering fingers suggests that the fingers of aunt jennifer are trembling this creates an image of this image creates the um, uh, this creates an image of aunt's desire and also shows the suffering and miserable condition of aunt jennifer so these were the question answers to the questions based from the extract of the poems let's move on to the extract based questions from vistas and the first extract was reflector from the chapter memories of childhood select the appropriate option mcq type that sounds came nearer and nearer and what is why the poet uses it adds the suspense and anxiety to readers some of the students were confused with the thought of the speaker no don't go with it as for me the correct answer should be option number b The next question, fill in uh, fill ups. In spite of myself, suggests that the speaker was caught in spite of all her struggle. What do you infer from the first line of the extract? It was the first day in school. She did not want to get caught. She was unprepared for the lesson, or she preferred to be by herself. And the correct answer is option number B. She did not want to get caught, and she did not want her hair to be shingled. a true or false type state whether the statement given is true or false the speaker hoodwink the people looking for her now the word hoodwink means cheated duped deceived hence this statement is false over here 
the next extract from Vistas was based from this chapter Journey to the End of the Earth by Tishani Doshi. And its questions were easy, straightforward questions were there from this extract. According to the view expressed by the author in the above extract, increasing global temperature is due to burning of fossil fuels. So, even those students who did not read this chapter, it was a general knowledge based question and the correct answer will be burning of fossil fuels option number C. Fill up completing the sentence, humans are criticized by the author for and the correct answer should be increasing global temperature by unmitigated or uncontrolled burning of fossil fuels. So, this should have been the correct sentence. The next question, according to the author, the relationship between human population and resources and you could have written, yes, as the population increases, the burning of the fossil, the, the resources are limited. The resources are limited, but the population keeps on increasing and the resource are overused. So, you could have used the relation between human population and resource is inversely proportionate. And the last MCQ type, in that short amount of time, we have managed to create a ruckus. What does the author mean by the word ruckus? And the meaning of the word ruckus is commotion. So, the correct answer to this will be option number D that is commotion. Now, the next questions were from the extract based on Flamingo chapters. And the first one was from the chapter, the last lesson, which ironically is the first lesson of your syllabus. So, the question from the last lesson, now you see where we have come. The tone of M. Hamble in the above extract is line is that of, and he, he is a regret, he is a regret. So, this line shows regret, it does not show kindness, unhappiness or enthusiasm. Correct option is option number C. The next again was MCQ based. We have all a great deal to reproach ourselves with. Select the option which conveys the meaning of reproach. And the correct answer should be option number A, that is the player received a reprimand of, for breach of rules. True or false? Many true or false were reflected this time. M. Hamel endorses the belief that there is plenty of time to learn the language. Yes, it is not at all they were short of time because they were enslaved and they were now captured by the Prussians. So, this statement is false. The next one was again completing the sentence. You must feel bad enough. These, those, through these words, Mr. Hamel urges the people to realize their mistake and in not giving importance to learning. Because the villagers did not pay attention to studies. The other one, identify the line from the text that reinforces the theme of patriotism. And one of the line is, you pretend to be Frenchmen and yet you neither speak or know your mother or you can write your mother own language. So, this is the statement given in that particular extract. And one, she puts off learning till tomorrow, the phrase puts off suggests, puts off means to delay or to postpone or to defer and this is what the villagers were doing, they postponed the learning for tomorrow. So, these were the answers to the extract based questions from here. So, overall extract based questions were easy, they were not difficult, yes one or two questions were a bit tricky. Let us move on to the next type of questions, sorry one more extract and this extract was from the chapter Indigo. MCQ, that he seemed adamant, Gandhiji's trait of being, it means that Gandhiji was uncompromising. Some of the students thought the answer should be arrogant, but Gandhiji was not arrogant, he was unwilling to compromise. So, B should be the correct answer. The next MCQ, that deceitfully extorted from the sharecroppers. The status of sharecroppers as inferred in the above lines is, the croppers were exploited. So, they are victims of exploitation. Option number C is the correct answer to this question. The next one was fill in the blank. Gandhiji surprised them by, you have to fill up the center, uh, complete the sentence. So, Gandhiji surprised them by accepting 25 amount as refund. This was surprising an element for everyone present over there. 
the next question mr gandhi took him at his word is he agreed with the deal offered by the planter this is the correct answer and over here the meaning of deadlock has been put up so deadlock in the last line means resistance or the state of inaction where no conclusion could be arrived at so the correct answers could be any of these and finally the last question from extract based type of questions were what do we infer about the attitude of planters towards the share broker yes if you read the chapter straight forward extract the straight forward answers the planters had illegally and deceitfully extorted money from the share brokers they were exploiting the share brokers so these are the answers to the extract based questions moving on to your short answer type questions the students the answer which you, you have to attempt in around 40 words or so six questions were given you have to attempt any five and questions from mostly all the chapters were included either in the form of extract or in the form of short answer type questions the first answer question was from this chapter the lost spring and when i sense a flash of it in mukesh i am cheered how is mukesh's attitude of life different from that of his family and friends so this is the answer in front of you mukesh was different mukesh had a desire he had an ambition he had a dream to drive a car whereas his family and the friends everyone engaged in bengal making in firozabad yes they had succumbed under the burden by the stigma of the caste and by the people of the second world two distinct worlds for that so this is what i expressed over here it was dominated by bengal industry and most families were engaged in making bengals and they could do nothing else they had lost all the ability to dream and they had accepted defeat from life ki jeena yaha marna yaha uske siwa jana kaha but mukesh was different he wanted to do something different from this and this was the way mukesh's attitude was different so it was an easy question the next question again was easy from the chapter deep water i was frightened but not yet frightened of my wits says douglas which qualities of the speaker are highlighted in the above statement so this shows that he was determined it shows his rational approach even though he was scared but he had not let the fear suck make him think less he could think about the things how to save himself in spite of he being scared so the thing you could have specified was it demonstrates a rational approach to the fear by assessing the level of fright so this is the way the answer should have been written by the students the next question was from the poem my mother at 66 see you soon amma how are these how these words contrary to the speaker's emotion yes so even though the poet was scared at the aging at the old age of the mother but she did not want to show this fear in front of it so this is what i am trying to put up in the answer these were the parting words and these words are contrary to the emotions of the speaker's mother the speaker has an insecurity and feeling of losing her mother or getting separated from the mother why because of old age so these words are spoken just as an assurance just as an consolation to herself as well as the mother to meet again so this is what has to be specified in this particular answer the next question again was from the ncert asking about the grandeur explain the inference that can be drawn from the phrase mighty dead and you could have taken the points shown over here the phrase mighty dead typically refers to individuals who are influential powerful or esteemed during their lifetime but since they have passed away it implies that even in death these individuals retain a sense of greatness or significance and besides other point and finally we remember or envision them in death often reflects their enduring influence and importance so even though they are no more but their tales which we read or understand listen are a thing of beauty this is what you could have added in the answer the next question was from the chapter the interview related to rudyard kipling and yes rudyard kipling did not like to be interviewed why his holiday had been spoiled by interviewers and he felt 
interview was crime, it was moral and the interviewer should be, they deserved punishment and this is what had to be written in this particular answer. He did not walk the talk, he considered it immoral and a crime which deserved punishment. And finally, the one more question was that based from the chapter going places and again an easy question about the friendship of Sophie and Jancy. So, what type of friend they were? Yes, what type of friend Jancy was? So, you could have just asked, Jancy is a true friend of Sophie, practical and cares for Sophie making her realize the harsh realities of life because Sophie was a daydreamer, she was floating in the fairyland, in the dream world whereas Jancy's feet were planted firm on the ground. So, this is or these are the answers, short answer type questions based from Flamingo. Now, moving on to the short answer type questions from Vistas, you have to attempt any two of them and the first one was from the chapter, the journey to the end of the earth, a easy question and for humans, the prognosis is not good. What is in store for humans as per the above statement? And the prognosis for the humans is not good if this excessive fossil burning of fuel takes place, then the carbon dioxide layer will increase, global warming threat is always there and this is what has to be put up in this answer. So, this could imply various challenges or threats that humans face such as environmental degradation, societal issues or existential concerns. So, this is something about your short answer type question from Vistas, from the topic journey to the end of the earth. The next question was from the chapter the third level. Again an easy question, he had exchanged 300 dollars and in return he got only 200 dollars of the old style currency. So, what does he mean? And he just says he did not care. So, what does this statement mean? And the answer is over here in front of you. He did not care, why? Because everything in the 1890s were much, much cheaper. So, so he did not care this, care for this and also you could have also, it also captures a sense of mystery and perhaps a willingness to embrace the unknown despite the material losses. So, these are the points you could have specified in this particular answer. And the last question which was there, short answer type from Vistas based from the chapter, the enemy and again a question from NCRT, again a question from our test paper, what was the servant's reaction to Sadao's decision of treating the American soldier? So, many points the students could have written over here, few points I have specified this. The servant felt that they could not stay if Sadao hit the white man. They even thought about the future of the children and finally, they left the house. They were scared and they left the house, threatened of the repercussions of helping an enemy soldiers. So, this is something about the short answer type questions from Vistas. And finally, moving to the last type of questions, yes, these type of questions were really interesting and the questions were from the dual topics and this question wanted the deep understanding of the topics from the students. So, war with gas, war with fire and victory with no survivors. Pablo in the above lines highlights the futility of war, that is wars are useless. Gandhiji also brought about the change in the plight of the Champaran sharecroppers through civil disobedience and non-violence. Write an article of peace on the importance of peace and the right way to resolve the issues. And many points the students could have written, yes, I have exaggerated the answers. So, you will get a glimpse as to what type of answer or what point should have been specified in answering this question. So, embracing peace, the path to resolving issues. So, something about the conflict, something about the wars and you have to specify that war is not a solution to anything. War only leads to destruction and not to any solution. Gandhiji also resorted to it and Gandhiji also was against violence and with the help of civil disobedience, he got justice and victory to the sharecroppers. So, on the basis of understanding of these topics, a general article you should, have, you should have written. So, this is the solution in front of you. So, we just go through the points, it will help you a lot. And then, in option you had a question 
from the last lesson as well as something from the interviewer Mukund Padmanabhan who was from the chapter the interview. So, Mukund Padmanabhan interviews M. Hamels. So, you have to write a paragraph on Hamels view on individual responsibility and nationalism. Again an interesting question and the points could have been written on the understanding of the chapter and the general topic of individual responsibility. So, this is the way I have started as Mukund Padmanabhan having just interviewed M. Hamel after his poignant delivery of the, in the last lesson. I found his views on individual responsibility and nationalism to be profoundly insightful. Yes. The other thing, furthermore, Hamel stressed the role of nationalism in fostering an resilience in the, fear, the face of adversity. He spoke passionately about the need for citizens and to love and honor their country. Hamel's word underscored the notion that individual responsibility and nationalism are intertwined each reinforcing the other in the pursuit of collective progress and preservation. And now, finally moving on to the long answer type questions based from Vistas. And again, an intelligent type of questions these were, again on the basis of understanding of things. The question Mr. Lamb, oh there is a lot of things I have learned to do and plenty of time for it, years I take study. Mr. Lamb, despite the handicap, learned to be independent and has proved where there is a will, there is a way. So, as a motivational speaker, you have to deliver a speech on this topic. And the hint was given, you may begin like this, to remain resilient during difficult times will help one move forward in time. So, interesting question, yes, the students were prepared for speech related questions from the topics of Vistas and here the way I put up the speech, good morning one and all, whenever you deliver a speech at least you can wish the audience good morning one and all and all the things based on the understanding of that particular chapter about Mr. Lamb should have been specified in our answer. Students imagine facing the world with a physical limitation yet having the courage and strength to embrace life with unwavering positivity and determination. And examples about Lamb's quality, Mr. Lamb teaches us that disabilities need not define us, rather it is our attitude and perseverance that shape our destiny. Yes, and it is a fact and such points you have to emphasize in your answer to this. And finally, some more points also, yes, I have added. Just as Mr. Lamb took his study, let us approach life with patience and determination. Yes, even though ups and downs are there, but face the things with patience and determination. And finally, when there is a will, there is a way. So, these points were to be put up over here. So, with resilience as your guide, you can conquer any obstacle and achieve your dream. Finally, thank you all. So, this is the way this question had to be attempted. And moving on to the last of the question. Until then, with the Maharaja had given his entire lifetime and energy to tiger hunting. He had no time to spare for the crown prince. And in present time, we see people following their profession and running after money and neglect their children. As a professional counselor, you address working parents, stressing the need to spend quality time with children. Take material from the story The Tiger King to reinforce your points of view. And points, the way you have to start it is, Spending time with children will boost their confidence that yes, because of this competitive world, the children are neglected many a times by the parents. And just on the understanding of, of the topic, the Tiger King, you have to attempt this question. Yes. And the answer I have given in front of you, spending time with children will boost their confidence. Spending time with children is not just a leisure activity, it is the fundamental aspect of parenting that plays a crucial role in shaping a child's emotional well-being and development. Yes. And then linking it along with the chapter, the Tiger King. Dear working parents, it is essential to recognize that while professional success and financial stability are important, they should not come at the cost of neglecting our children's needs for love, 
attention and guidance. Because the children expect this from the parents and the children should not be neglected just for material gains. So, this is the way I have put up the points over. Spending time with children will boost their confidence, enhance their social and communication skills and deepen their sense of security and belonging within the family unit. And finally, look at up, ended up by making a conscious effort to spend quality time with our children. We can nurture strong, loving relationship that will withstand the test of time and enrich both their lives and ours immeasurably. So, these are the points which are to be mentioned, a few points you could have mentioned from the year. So, now the detailed solution was presented to you. So, go through your paper once and do not be worried, do not think much about your scores. Now, focus on your other upcoming exams. I hope you must have enjoyed this video related to the solution of your English co-paper. And for more solutions of all the other subjects, keep connected, stay tuned. Thank you all and all the very best to the other exams. Thank you all.